The hash ribbons indicator created by Capriole Investments has provided great long-term Bitcoin buy signals in the past. It combines the fundamental analysis of Bitcoin mining data with the technical analysis of Bitcoin's price. Hey, it's John from StopSaving.com and in this guide, I'll explain how the Bitcoin hash ribbons indicator works and test its historical accuracy for investors. By the end, you'll know whether to include the indicator in your own strategy and how to use it if you do. So here's what you'll learn in this video. Number one, how Bitcoin mining activity increases and decreases Bitcoin's hash rate. Two, how the hash ribbons indicator works using different moving averages of Bitcoin's hash rate and price. And number three, the four stages of the hash ribbon signal, ending with the final buy signal. And then finally, number four, back-tested results of the hash ribbons indicator. We'll learn to understand how well it's performed in the past at timing Bitcoin buy signals. Now, before I explain the Bitcoin hash ribbons indicator, let's first understand the Bitcoin hash rate, which is shown in orange in this chart from Look Into Bitcoin. Put simply, the hash rate is the computing power Bitcoin miners use measured in hashes per second. The hash rate rises when more miners compete to mine Bitcoin. Typically, this happens when Bitcoin's price is relatively high as there's more financial incentive for them to mine. The hash rate can also increase when the electricity cost of mining Bitcoin is low compared to its price. That makes Bitcoin mining more profitable, which increases mining competitiveness and hence the hash rate. The hash rate can sometimes go down when Bitcoin's price drops, and lower prices make mining less profitable after all, which causes mining activity and hence the hash rate to drop too. But notice how it's generally trended up over time, making the Bitcoin blockchain more secure. And if you'd like a deeper explanation of how that works, check out our Investor's Guide to Bitcoin. I'll leave a link to that in the description. So how does the Bitcoin hash ribbons indicator work exactly? Well, the hash ribbons indicator gives a long-term Bitcoin buy signal over four stages. First, there's minor capitulation, which is shown with a gray dot in the chart. Next, there's the early minor recovery signs represented by green dots. Then there's the end of minor capitulation signal with bright green dots. And finally, the long-term Bitcoin buy signal with a blue dot in the chart. So let's now go over each of those stages in a bit more detail. First, there's the minor capitulation signal. And here, miners start selling Bitcoin to cover their operational costs. Lower Bitcoin prices and or higher electricity costs hurt miners' profits, so more miners switch off their machines. That typically causes the hash rate to drop, with its 30-day moving average, the bright green line, crossing below its 60-day moving average, which is the grey line. This cross shows downward momentum for the hash rate and triggers the minor capitulation signal. After that, the chart's red area shows miners are in the capitulation phase and the 30-day moving average also turns red too. And as a side note here, moving averages of Bitcoin's average hash rate over the past 30 days and 60 days updated daily. Check out this moving average guide if you'd like to understand how to use them in your trading strategy. There's a link for that in the description too. So let's now move on to the second stage of the hash ribbons indicator, the early minor recovery signs. With the hash rate now lower after the minor capitulation signal, mining activity starts to pick up again. As a result, the hash rate starts to recover, which can trigger a few green dots to show up in the chart. But since the 30-day moving average is still below the 60-day moving average, miners are still in the capitulation phase, as shown by the red area here. Next is the hash ribbon signal number three, the end of minor capitulation signal. The 30-day moving average of the hash rate now crosses back above the 60-day moving average. This signals that miners have officially recovered from the capitulation phase and Bitcoin's hashing power has made a strong comeback. The 30-day moving average also turns bright green. 
Finally, there's the blue Bitcoin buy signal. Now that the hash rate has recovered with bright green dot, we need Bitcoin's price action to also show strength for a final confirmation to buy Bitcoin. You want to see the 10 day moving average of Bitcoin's price in teal be above the 20 day moving average in yellow for the final Bitcoin buy signal to fire in the form of a blue dot. The moving average cross shows positive buyer momentum showing a price recovery confirmation. Now, there are a few different paths that this can take to get to the final Bitcoin buy signal. For example, you could see a scenario where the end of minor capitulation signal flashes bright green and then miners capitulate again. The end of minor capitulation signal could also happen while Bitcoin's 10 day moving average is already above its 20 day moving average, which would immediately trigger the buy signal. But if those moving averages haven't crossed yet, you need to wait until they do before you do see the blue dot. This diagram shows a few different ways that the signal could play out. But here's the key point for the buy signal. You need the shorter term moving averages of the hash rate and the Bitcoin price to both be above the longer term ones. But if you'd like a copy of this diagram, along with all the slides from this video, you can download them as a free high definition PDF through this form over here. You'll find it on the written version of this guide on our website, stopsaving.com. And again, I'll leave a link in the description. So how well has the hash ribbons indicator performed in the past? Well, since 2013, there have been 14 blue dots or Bitcoin buy signals with 64.29% of them turning a profit. The average trade lasted 253 days, assuming you exited each trade on the first minor capitulation after each buy signal. As the chart shows, the indicator's performance in green has beaten a simple Bitcoin buy and hold strategy, which is the blue line, since 2013. But keep in mind, these are only backtested results, and that doesn't mean the future results will be the same. If you'd like to use the hash ribbons indicator yourself, it's free on TradingView. You can use it by searching hash ribbons in the indicators section. So that's the end of this video, and here are the key takeaways. Number one, the Bitcoin hash ribbons indicator combines the fundamental analysis of Bitcoin's hash rate with the technical analysis of Bitcoin's price. Two, since 2013, the indicator has given a profitable Bitcoin buy signal in about two out of every three trades, over 14 trades in total. And finally, number three, while past performance doesn't guarantee future results, the hash ribbons indicator has a decent track record so far. As usual, none of this is investment advice, but if you found value in this content, remember to subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell to get these videos as soon as I publish them. And don't forget to like the video if you did. This helps our content reach more people on YouTube. I'd also be interested to know your thoughts on the hash ribbons indicator, so let me know in the comments. Again, you can find a more detailed written version of this video on our website, stopsaving.com along with the PDF slide deck used for this video. You can also sign up for our free newsletter for how-to guides and investment content across crypto, stocks, metals, and more. So until next time, take care.